Alright. I do, but I don't own it. It belongs to one of your corporate departments. Vic Rhodes owns it, not me. Vic Rhodes owns it. You got a license? I do have Can a license. You produce your license for me, please. Why do I need to? Because I've observed you drive a motor vehicle and the requirement. I'm not driving a motor vehicle, I'm travelling. I observed you drive a motor vehicle. You are now required to produce a license with your identification. If you're not, I will be arresting you until I confirm identity. Really? Do you understand that? No, I don't understand that. Are you going to produce a driver's license? We are a living man. We don't need a license to travel in private property. Not interested in your own. I'm not interested in yours. So where's the emergency and how can we assist? I would like identification, please. I'd like to know where the emergency is and how can we assist? I'm requesting you to present the emergency that you have declared by putting your lights and sirens on. Okay. As I observe you drive a motor vehicle, I'm now requiring you to supply me with a breath of your a sample of your breath on this prescribed device, to my satisfaction. Are you prepared to do that? Under Regina v. Banner 1970, police have no authority whatsoever to arrest or detain someone for the purpose of questioning them or for facilitating their investigation. Obtaining a breath analysis sample is facilitating investigation and you have detained you, us travelling in our private property. As I stated to you, unless you produce a copy of your licence, I will place you under arrest. Do you understand that? No, I don't understand that. All right. Under the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights, Article under the 9. Safety Act, you are driving a motor vehicle. You are required to produce a license. Can are you, you provide, prepared? All right. Can you provide no, the proclamation stop. certificate for the stop? Road Safety Act? Provide the proclamation certificate for the Road Safety Act. What's your name? What is your name? As a living man, I go by the name John. John, okay. What's your full name? Jonathan Michael. Jonathan Michael, what? Of the House of Hertwig. Of the House of Hertwig. I'm not happy with that. Have you got any photo identification? I do. Of that? What do you think? That's all right. Let's just go with the video, see? Okay. Oh, yeah. We've identified you now. That's fine. Are you prepared to provide me with a sample of your breath in this prescribed device? Can you provide the law no, that requires it? No, you listen to me. Road safety Provide no, the proclamation no. certificate for the act. It's a simple question. You've been required to undergo a point of arrest. And I've provided you, you with a court case. Are you prepared to undergo a point of arrest? Yes I do no. not consent. It's a simple to, I yes, do not yes, consent no. to your investigation. Okay, so I must inform yeah. you that your licence may be disqualified for a period of two years if you fail to supply me with a sample of your breath. Are you prepared? I must inform you that if you don't provide the proclamation certificate okay. for the law of that, we're going to have an issue. Well, there's already an issue. Yeah, there is. Okay. You've violated Regina versus Banner. You have not provided the emergency that you have declared, and you're violating DPP versus Hamilton. Right. At the end of the day, just get the card. Um, the vehicle's registration on this vehicle is cancelled. Is it? Yes, it is. Uh, under what law? Okay, as I was saying, you drive a motor vehicle, I may require you to undergo a preliminary breath test on this prescribed device to my satisfaction. Are you prepared to provide the law, please? You haven't provided the law, you haven't provided the emergency that you've declared, and I've asked for the proclamation certificate for the Road Safety Act, turning it from an act to a law. A preliminary breath test on a prescribed device, you have refused to undergo the test as required. If you refuse to undergo the preliminary breath test, you may be charged with this offence and found guilty. You will be fined and imprisoned up to 18 months and you will lose your licence up to two years. Do you understand that? We don't stand under your authority. Are you prepared to undergo a breath test? 
yes or no answer. Provide the, uh, provide the yes law. Or no answer. Provide the law. And if I have observed you driving, I now require you to provide me with a sample of your oral fluid on this prescribed device to my satisfaction. Are you prepared to supply me with a sample? Provide of your the law, please. No, they're privately owned. And who owns them? I do, the living man. You do? Yeah. They were bought outright. Okay, so you have been required to undergo a preliminary oral fluid test on a prescribed device. If you or you have refused to undergo the test as required, if you refuse to undergo the preliminary oral fluid test, you may be charged with this offence and if found guilty, you will lose your licence. It's fine, we'll go to court. Years. We'll go straight to court, that's not so a problem. Go to court. Yeah. So what is your reason for driving a motor vehicle that uh, currently has no registration? I'm not driving, I'm travelling in private property. It's private property. Well, Travelling in private property. Not private property to start, is it? No. Well, actually it is because no. I own it. No. So a you car, actually a own car it? in a public place is a, is a public place. It's that simple. Yeah. It's private property. No, it's yeah, it is. That's right. Argue that in court. I've got the receipts. Argue that it's in private court. property, Argue mate. It in court. That's fine. Okay. Got a phone number at all? Not that I'm giving you. Okay. Have a nice night. Uh, you can't drive. I'm travelling in private you property. You drive this vehicle. I can travel you, as you wherever I want. Anywhere in if you continue to drive and you are intercepted, you'll be then completing further offences. That's fine. You understand that? That's fine. Okay. We don't stand under your authority, as I've stated. We? Who's we? I can't see we. The living man. Yet. Mind, body and soul. Living man. We. Do we. not stand under your authority. We. Yeah. No, no. No, no. Okay. I'll be travelling home later. I'll be travelling home later. It's not a problem. At this stage, I am forbidding you from driving this motor vehicle. You have you no authority that? over us. If you drive the vehicle, as I've told you, you are not allowed to drive the vehicle, you will be com uh, committing further offending. That's you fine. That? Just sort out your court case. I'll see you in court. No worries. All right. Have a nice night.